the United States of America as the unwavering and permanent supporter of the occupying regime is the main cause of the failures of the United Nations, especially the Security Council, in upholding the rights of the Palestinians. Who are now managing the genocide in Palestine that we do not welcome to expansion of the war in the region. But I warn if the genocide in Gaza continues, they will not be spared from this fire. Mr. President, I have been three weeks that we have been witness to the war crimes and genocide of the occupying Israeli regime in Gaza and the West Bank of Palestine. The United States and several European countries have sided with the occupying regime of Israel without observing the UN Charter and international law. They call a Palestinian liberation movement a terrorist, which has the right to self-defense and self-determination. But they refer to the occupying and war criminal regime that is committing genocide in Gaza and having the right to self-defense. Unfortunately, this is the state of our world today. This is the situation of the Security Council, which was supposed to try to establish world peace and security. Today, United States and several European countries are watching and supporting the killing of about 7,000 civilians in less than three weeks by the Israeli regime in Gaza and West Bank of Palestine. And they help this regime military and financially. We recommend the United States to work for peace and security, not war against people, children, and women. Instead of sending rockets, tanks, and bombs to be used against Gaza, United States should stop supporting genocide in Gaza and Palestine. Mr. President, the history of Iranian civilization shows that we have always supported peace and security. But today in New York and the United Nations, I say frankly to the American statesmen who are now managing the genocide in Palestine that we do not welcome to expansion of the war in the region. But I warn if the genocide in Gaza continues, they will not be spared from this fire. It is our home, and West Asia is our region. We do not compromise with any party and any side and we have no reservation when it comes to our home's security. The United States, the United States of America, as the unwavering and permanent supporter of the occupying regime, is the main cause of the failures of the United Nations, especially the Security Council, in upholding the rights of the Palestinians. The country has for dozens of times prevented the Security Council from fulfilling its duties in this field. Mr. President, we believe that the complete and comprehensive solution to the Palestinian issue is only possible through the full realization of the inalienable right of this nation to self-determination and the establishment of an independent Palestinian state in all of the Palestinian territories and with Al-Quds as its capital. The entire land of Palestine, from the sea to the river, 
belongs only to the original Palestinians, including Christians, Jews, and Muslims. And no institution or country has the right or can give any part of it, of this land, to another person or group. And of course, the Islamic Republic of Iran, we have never been after the expansion or the spread of war, and we will never be supporting it but if in the truest sense of the word they don't want this war to spread out they need to pressure the zionist regime to fully and immediately stop the war crimes of the israeli regime if they don't want the conflict to spread out the the actions of the united states Two, which directly participates in this battle through financial and armed support as well as direct military action and effective political support are a clear violation of the charter and, in and international legal obligations of that country and, and as a result hold, hold it internationally responsible. In addition, why the United States itself is actually and in practice and directly involved in committing crimes against Palestinians, it is not in a position to invite others to exercise self-restraint and refrain from spreading the war. Therefore, we we strongly warn against the uncontrollable consequences of the unlimited financial arms and operational supports by the White House to the Tel Aviv regime, which have led to the expansion and added to the severity of the bombardments of the civilians and the Palestinian women and children in Gaza and the West Bank. The current developments in Palestine also clearly prove that the only result of any normalization of relations with, the, with Tel Aviv is tantamount to ignoring the legitimate and historical rights of the Palestinian nation. In conclusion, I would like to thank the positive and realistic positions of the UN Secretary General, His Excellency Antonio Guterres, and his efforts on the ground for sending humanitarian aid to Gaza and stopping, immediately stopping the war. I would like to emphasize that it is expected from the United Nations to employ a strong terminology and under the seventh chapter of the United Nations Charter for the Zionist regime to immediately stop its war crimes, genocide, and the mass killing of civilians and provide other grounds for the full realization of the Palestinian nation's right to self-determination.